I'm, I'm generally relatively composed, but I don't feel very poised this evening. I didn't, uh, walking here, making my way through the protesters coming out of Union Square, and uh, I'm very moved by what you had to say, Ari. Thank you very much. Um, I want to also echo your thanks to the Poetry Society, to the Academy of American Poets, and to Columbia. We, we're at Milkweed so honored to be partnering with you all to have this event. Um, I'm looking forward very much to the poets uh, and to the readings, and so I will try to be brief. Um, I thought to describe to you um, my experience with Max and our experience publishing the book and uh, the profound effect he's had on me and on, on our team at Milkweed Editions in a very short amount of time. Um, it was in late May of this year that I received a message from Martha Collins, a poet we've published at Milkweed Editions, um, a wonderful poet. Um, she attached a manuscript to a short message in which she said something along the lines of, I think this is a beautiful piece of work. I hope you agree. I don't know the poet personally, but I do know there's some urgency around uh, the consideration of this manuscript. Um, she really didn't say much more than that. I took the manuscript, this was a Friday afternoon, I received the message from Martha Collins, I took it home with me, and um, read a copy on Saturday. And I was absolutely blown away. Uh, I've been doing what I do, publishing books, editing books, including collections of poems for more than two decades now. And the simple truth is that I've never had an experience like the one I had uh, on that first reading of four reincarnations. Um, it was not difficult to ascertain from the poems that the author um, was facing impending death and had been dealing with a great deal of suffering, but I didn't know more than that. Um, I thought I recognized Max Ritvo's name and later, remem later put two and two together and recalled that I'd seen the portfolio uh, in the Boston Review. Um, I thought maybe I was insane. I um, put the manuscript down, I read it again the following day, and felt even more strongly about the book. Um, I've never encountered a collection of poems um, so that so profoundly accomplishes uh, what is described in one of the statements uh, just inside the book as the transmutation of suffering. I think it's from you, Timothy Donnelly. Um, it's a wonderful phrase, but it wasn't um, the suffering that caught my attention. It was the exuberance, and it was the life, and um, it was also the richly elusive nature of the work. It was the complexity of the work. But above all, it was the liveliness of the work um, that caught my attention. The formal accomplishment, obviously. Um, I had just never encountered anything like it. Um, I was so humbled. I um, was in touch with Max the following day, on Monday. And um, I explained to him that we would be honored to publish his book. And um, that I needed to know a little more about this urgent situation. Um, in order to decide how to schedule the book and how we went about next steps. And we talked for about 45 minutes that first time, and Max ex went back to his original diagnosis, explained to me everything that had happened, was very clear-eyed. Uh, I, I should add, we were both laughing plenty throughout the conversation. Those of you who knew him well will understand. Um, we decided, got, to get, got our team together at Milkweed and decided to um, put the pedal to the metal and, and uh, behave as if there was real urgency, as there was. Um, as Ari mentioned, Max did hold the galley, and the book came off press within a month of his passing, um, which was painful for me personally. Um, in the meantime, since accepting the book, uh, there was a poem in the New Yorker. There he was on the cover of Poetry Magazine, prominent interviews. We began to get a sense for the reception. Um, one never knows when one takes a book how the world is going to respond. 
um, to the book. And um, this was very promising early reception. Um, we did publish the book not much more than a month ago. Um, it's the first collection of poems we've published as a hardcover at Milkweed Editions. Um, it did so primarily because of how strongly we felt about the work. And um, uh, the urgency was a secondary consideration. The, bef between the books arrived in our office, um, hot off the press, and the official publication date, we had to reprint the book. And the, the, the demand was so amazing. Um, and the first printing was not a small printing of 2,500 copies for a collection of poems and nothing to sniff at. Uh, we went back for another 2,500 copies, again in hardcover, and we're now looking at a second reprint. Uh, those copies also um, aided in no small part by friends and colleagues and fellow poets of Max who've been reading across America, Austin, LA, here, um, this last weekend in uh, Iowa City. Um, I received an email I was, as I was flying out um, yesterday um, on election day um, that um, the book in, in, at Prairie Lights was this fabulous event in Iowa City um, over the weekend and that behind only Colson Whitehead's um, Oprah pick, The Underground Railroad, uh, Max Ritvo's was Four Reincarnations was the number two best-selling title last week at Prairie Lights, unheard of for a collection of poems. Um, the response has been uh, staggering. It, Max's work lives on, and it will live on. Never have, um, we, we're a relatively small publishing operation. We publish 18 to 20 new books each year. Um, we try not to pick favorites. We love all our books. We love all the writers we publish. Um, never have we had an experience like this where our entire, to an individual, our entire staff has been so profoundly moved. Um, just, and let me explain why. It's not only the work. Over the course of the, it's, I knew Max, I never met Max Ritvo in person. Uh, I knew him for about a little bit over four months. And over that time, I was saying to a few of you, I can't tell, I've never, you use the word Alice, empathy. Uh, I've never met a more empathetic individual. Um, to the extent that I was receiving videos, uh, short films, songs, poems, um, based on each of them, not only apt to my individuality such as it is, but to my moods. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, it was telepathic and um, really profoundly moving. Um, another quality I didn't mention about the um, collection of poems that I responded very, very strongly to is the kind of, if you will, metaphysical, mystical element of the work. And um, my experience with Max was that he was a profoundly sensitive, generous spirit. Um, he gave so much to his work. I know the publication of his work as a book mattered a great deal. And it's been, publishing this book has been among the most touching experiences of my life. So it's been truly my honor. I'm so moved to be here um, tonight. And um, thank you very much for these few minutes of your attention. Thank you.